When people are prescribed medications, they don't necessarily always work. And there are lots of reasons for that, from the genes that you were born with to maybe even the environment. Fascinating research at the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm is finding that perhaps exposure to sunlight could make a difference to whether medications work. Karen Carey, our consumer affairs reporter, has the story. The, since we know here in Scandinavia and Northern Europe and also in Australia and uh, New Zealand, there is a big variability over the year in vitamin D levels due to different uh, exposure to UV light. UV light is really important for your vitamin D levels. We, we thought that there might be seasonal changes in your liver capacity to metabolize drugs. We know that uh, uh, what really determines the levels and exposure to pharmaceutical drugs in the body is the, or at least the most important factor is uh, the rate of elimination. Uh, elimination of drugs uh, takes place in the liver or by the kidneys. And we know that uh, the most important enzyme uh, that eliminates drugs in the liver is uh, called CYP3A4 and that's sensitive to vitamin D. Many medications are broken down in the liver and vitamin D can affect how well that's done. So the effectiveness of the medication may vary between summer and winter. And if you're taking the medication to stop rejection after an organ transplant, that variation could be very serious indeed. If we look upon drugs uh, that, that are used uh, to protect your organ after organ transplantation, it could be either that you develop toxicity by too high levels. It could actually affect your kidneys to develop kidney toxicity and impaired kidney function if you are too high in drug exposure. But if you're too low, uh, it might be that your new organ could be rejected because your immune system would take over and, and kick this new organ out. During the most dark period of the year, uh, you need not the same doses to reach uh, levels you see later during the year when you have high vitamin D levels due to more sunlight. So there are indeed changes over the year that depends on, on, on vitamin D levels. There are lots of implications from this research because it could affect up to half the medications available. But for people on life-saving drugs, does it mean we should be monitoring vitamin D levels throughout the year? I think yeah, it's really too early to say that, so we need to, to understand more about other drugs. To increase your levels of vitamin D might be quite difficult, you might need very high doses, so perhaps small doses of vitamin D wouldn't make a true difference. So Norman, this research was about individuals and changes of seasons in a single country. What are the big issues? Well, one of the bigger issues is where the clinical trials are being done to test these new medications that are coming onto the market. Increasingly, trials are being done in nations like India and continents like Africa, which are very sunny. So you'd have to wonder, if this research is right, how applicable those findings are to people living in countries where there isn't so much sun, like Sweden or Britain, for example. And that remains to be seen. So that really affects patients individually, but also the public purse, because we rely on those clinical trials as evidence to fund a medication. And in actual fact, in different countries, we might be having completely different results. Yes, and it points to the need to follow new medications on the market to see whether or not they are working the way the pharmaceutical company promises or the way the clinical trials said it would. Because increasingly we may find that they don't work the same way. They might work more effectively or less effectively. So we've got to watch what's being done to these medications after they go on the market. Mm, so many of these issues come back to the fact that we need to collect the data and know what is actually happening in our own population. That's right. So I guess for individuals, what they need to do is when they're prescribed a new medication, they need to be clear about why they're taking it. So a good conversation with the doctor about why they're taking it, what the expected benefits are, and then some self-monitoring afterwards to make sure that they're actually getting the benefits from the medication and if they're not, another chat with the doctor about maybe changing the dosage or changing to another medication or ceasing it altogether if it's not working. And just remembering that this research into vitamin D and the effect of sunlight on medications is preliminary and has to be confirmed to be sure.